Hey, how you doing today? My name is Relia, and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're playing Hollow Knight, and I want to go over a couple of different things that you can only do one time in a game. Sometimes there's really big choices you have to make, and you didn't even know that there was a choice. So we're going to go over them step by step, and the very first one is just outside of Green Path. Um, you have the choice to either save Zote or not save Zote. So if you don't remember... When we come up this way, I will show you where we are on the map. Right here, if we keep going straight up from this train station. If, if, if you've already been here before, it's already too late. You already didn't save Zote. But, if you made it here just a little bit earlier in the game, and you actually decide to uh, save Zote, it allows for a couple of different things. First off, it's going to make your life uh, a lot harder when it comes to the Pantheon Apollo Nest and the Pantheons in general. But if you let Zote pass away, he's the one, the bug who's struggling up at the top here. Again, here's the map. If you let him go away and you hit his nail, you'll get an achievement. And that achievement is called Neglect, and it's because you neglected Zote and you let him pass away. If you let Zote live, you can fight him in the Colosseum of Fools uh, in the first trial, and you'll get an achievement called Rivalry. You can also defeat the Dark Romance by defeating Grey Prince Zote. That's a second achievement, and that's it. So if you save Zote, you can get those two achievements. Um, if you let Zote pass away, you only get the Neglect achievement. It's also one of those things where you won't see Zote in Dirtmouth if you never save him. So if you don't like hearing him grumble, then you don't have to hear him. You don't have to hear him ever again. All right, let's go on to the second one. For this next achievement slash choice that you have to make in Hollow Knight, it is only when you come over here. Here is the map. In the City of Tears, when you make your way over to the Nailsmith, once you have actually made your way to having a pier nail, you can come back over to the Nailsmith, and you have a choice. He has completed his life's work at this point. Once you come over here and talk to him, as you can see, the Nailsmith is gone. Once you've talked to him, he will stand over here on this ledge, and you have the choice. You can either strike him down with your nail, or if you're a ter terrible monster, you can hit him with a spell. And he will fall down, and you will find his body in the junk pit. And you will get an achievement called Pure. The other option is to spare his life, not actually strike down the Nailsmith, and you will get what is called the Happy Couple Achievement, and you will allow the Nailsmith to find a new calling. He will actually be seen with one of the other Nail Masters, and if you want to see a video on all of that, uh, I'll leave a link down in the description below on both how to get all the Pale Ore as well as the Nailsmith. So, yeah, let's go check the next one. The next decision we have to make is whether or not Cloth is going to live or die. I know it sounds kind of morbid, but we will first encounter Cloth right here in the Fungal Waste, and it is right here on the map. Cloth is that thing that's rumbling in the ground and then pops up. It's that NPC right there. And so after that, we will then find Cloth over in the Ancient Basin. So let's go ahead and move over there. All right, so over here, we are now over in the Ancient Basin. If we head all the way over to the left where this area ends, we will find Cloth yet again, but only after we defeat these brooding Maleks. Or, I forget what the little ones are called. We'll defeat these little guys. And as you can see, there's a club right there, and that's because Cloth is hiding. So Cloth will come up, just like that, and she'll tell us that she was sad and that she was hiding and she couldn't defend herself and now she wants to be brave and be just like the the little knight you know what i mean so now that the little knight at least in my save file i have already defeated over here in the queen's gardens i've already defeated the traitor lord so now cloth has there, there's no way for Cloth to pass away, so after this encounter, Cloth is going to end up in Dirtmouth, and she's going to live the whole rest of the time. If you were to go from here and then go to the Traitor Lord fight, you would then Cloth would help you out on that fight, and, and she passes away. It, it's just like that. Alright, so let's go find Cloth in Dirtmouth. So now if we come over to the left... We'll find Cloth right here in Dirtmouth, and basically Cloth didn't find an enemy to fight or die trying to fight, and uh, Cloth will be here, sad for the rest of the game. So the very next choice we have to make is with the Grim Troop and whether or not we decide to save the Grim Troop. 
So before we can even get here, you have to activate the Grim Troop and I'll leave a link down below on how to do that. So once you enter, you have to essentially fight Grim and you have to level up the Grim Child Charm, which is this one right here. And once you do that, once you beat Grim, you have to fight Nightmare King Grim, which is over here. Oh, and I can't get in right now because I haven't leveled up the Grim Child Charm. And so if you want to get rid of Grim completely and you, you just can't beat him or for whatever reason you just want the second achievement, I'll show you how to banish him right now. First things first, you need to make your way over to the distant village, which is right here. And just to show you where we are on the map, there we go. And so, as you'll see, there is a flame over here, which is what we are trying to do. We're trying to level up the Grim Child Charm. And so if we make our way over to the left, we are going to find an NPC named Brum. Is that how you say that? Am I saying that right? Here we go. So here's Brum. We originally would have seen him inside of Grimm's tent, and he will only show up here after we've defeated Grimm once. So go ahead and talk to him, and he will offer to help you banish the Grimm troop. It's not merely by fortune that we have met in the darkest areas. It's a song that never ends. If you wish to silence the endless song, hmm, meet me where it began. But if you return to master and complete the ritual, as long as you do it without regret, I will bear you no hatred. So there we go. So now we have to go back to where the ritual began. Okay, so here we are on the map. We are in the Howling Cliffs, and we're going to make our way all the way over to the right. And as you can see, the flame is lit, and Brum is going to help us extinguish the flame. Just give that flame a good couple of smacks. Just like that, it's over. Grim is gone. And so now you don't have to beat Nightmare King Grim, which is nice. Just note that when you do this, you lose your Grim Child Charm, and you're going to get another one as a replacement. Also note that if you did not upgrade your Fragile Strength and your Fragile Greed to an Unbreakable Strength and Unbreakable Greed by talking to the NPC to the tent just to the left of Grim, you have to talk to him her and you also have to pay a ton of geo it's like 10 or 15 thousand geo for each charm it's a pain in the butt but having the unbreakable strength and unbreakable greed is super helpful do that before you banish if nothing else if you have to banish grim or nightmare king grim please upgrade those charms you're gonna really wish that you did so once you banish the grim troop you can head back over to dirt mouth and there'll be a new npc here Looks kind of like Brum, but a little bit different. He's got a different name. And so what he's going to do is he's going to give you the Carefree Melody Charm. And so just like that. And if we take a look at this charm. It contains a song of protection that may defend the bear from damage. And it basically gives you a percentage chance to not take damage. I don't know, some people seem to really like it. Let me know down in the description below if you like the charm or not. If for some reason you didn't finish paying out Divine, who's the NPC who will upgrade the breakable charms to the unbreakable versions, she'll actually leave them on the ground if you if she was holding on to them when you banish the Grim Troop, and you'll be able to get those charms back. So don't worry about that. Um, yeah, so with that, those are all of the different things that you can only do in one save game file. So don't mess it up. Choose wisely with whatever you want to do. And if you have to play the whole game over on a second game file, you know what? So be it. If you want to get all the achievements, sometimes that's what you got to do. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. My name is Relia. Be sure to subscribe for even more Hollow Knight tips, tricks, and how-to videos. And I'll talk to you again more soon.